Hello, Danny Crane, and welcome back to TIS 100. Today we're going to look at the signal multiplier. This one it gives you two different inputs, and you have to multiply those two together and send it to the output. Uh, the problem is there is no multiplication function in this game. Uh, you can use addition instead. If you add a number into itself, the number times the second one says it, you'll get the right result. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to have this node save that value and send it to this node however many times this one asks. And this one's going to ask the number of times that the input told it to. And then once it does that, it's going to send it the final result to the output. Uh, so uh, there might be a way to use the stack memory nodes. I didn't figure that out. I just figured this way was a lot simpler. Uh, so it's not as efficient I've seen uh, as some of the others, but here I'll take you through it. We're going to start with this block here. Now this one, its goal is to just save that number and send it as many times as this node tells it to. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the start label. We're going to move the up value to the accumulator. And then we're going to start, we're going to save that by swapping it. So and that'll move it into the backup. And then what we're going to want to do is move the right to the accumulator. What we're going to do is we're going to have this block send a 1 anytime it wants to get this number that's it's currently working on to this one and then we're gonna have this node send a zero anytime we want it to stop and find a new number so that's what this move right is going to be for and right after that we're gonna to check to see if it's equal to zero if it's equal to zero uh, we're going to have it jump back to the start because uh, uh, we got a zero that means we're done sending numbers over and we're gonna to want to jump back up to the beginning get a new value to come in for the next next row. If it's not a zero, we need to send our backed up value. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap and then we're going to move the accumulated value whoops, to the right. And then we're going to jump back to A. So what this will do is after it gets its value, it'll save it in the backup move the instruction that we're going to get over here into the accumulator. If it's zero, we don't need to do anything. We just restart and get a new value from the up. If it's a number or if it's a one, we're going to swap them back, send that number over. And when it jumps back to A, it's going to swap it back down again. Now over here, we have to add those numbers together. So what we're going to do first, we're going to start with our start label and we're going to move the up value to the accumulator again and then right here we're going to check that value very first we're going to check to see if it's equal to zero if it is equal to zero we're going to move to the Y bookmark if it's not equal to zero we're going to swap so it'll save that value that we have come in so on this first one here we're getting an eight so it's going to move it down into the backup we're going to move one to the left and so this will tell this block to send it its number we're going to then add what's coming from the left because we're going to get a number back from it we're then going to swap it and subtract one so that will take because we we had the input from B saved in the backup we're going to swap those two numbers we're going to subtract one from it, um, and then we're going to jump back up to A. So that's going to run the test again and see if it's equal to zero now. So since we have an eight in the first input, it's going to do this eight times before it hits zero. Then once it hits zero, it's going to jump down to the Y bookmark right here. And what it's going to do, it's going to move a zero to the left. So this will tell this node to reset, to start over again, get a new input. And then what we're going to do, we're going to swap our backup value. And then we're going to move the accumulated value down. And that's it. And then what it'll do is it'll jump back up to the start on its own, restart the whole thing itself. Right over here, all we have to do is move up, down. And then right here, all we got to do is move up, down. And that should do it. We can go ahead and press the 
run button here and you can see it's going through and it's adding all those numbers together in this side here we see the uh, you can kind of see it goes a little too fast to see it here but the the backup keeps getting bigger and bigger with each one of them now the more times it has to add in the numbers the longer the cycle count is going to take and this one is not very efficient because it takes a long time to do some of these um, especially when it's after about five uh, or higher on this B input here so I'm just going to click the uh, the fast play there we go so really long on the cycle count but probably some of the shortest uh, instruction count that anybody's figured out on this one so uh, it just seemed a lot simpler than trying to use the stack memory nodes I'm sure there's people out there who figured out a way to do that um, I think I've seen some out there on the forums and stuff and I'd like to look at those see see how they got the cycle count down so low but that's just the way I figured this one out so hopefully hopefully this helps you out if you got stuck on this one and I'll see you next time